Welcome to our first Riceberg News broadcast of February. You'll notice I have a special guest with me this morning. Uh, we'll get to Dolores in a few minutes, but let me get through the news first. First and foremost, I would like to recognize our dedicated school counselors. This is National School Counselors Week. Reach out to our counselors with a congratulatory fist bump. Also, El Campbell Middle School will have a virtual UIL competition this week. Our boys and girls basketball teams are in the thick of it. Action will continue this week. Please check our website for sites and times. A COVID update. We're showing positive signs in regards to fighting COVID. We'd like you to keep up your efforts to keep our schools open. Although our totals for January were up following the Christmas break, we have had a period over the last week where our totals dropped significantly. Last week, there were only six positives, all at the secondary level. Next Tuesday, February 9th, remember, wear orange. This is our SHAC, School Health Advisory Committee, partnering with the Crisis Center to recognize teen dating violence in America and awareness in America. Please wear orange next Tuesday. Our new head football coach, athletic director, Chad Worrell, has officially begun his duties. He's met with all the middle school and high school athletes, 7 through 12, last week, and he has started his meetings with groups and individual coaches this week. Leslie Appel will begin work on March 1st. Ms. Tupa is working with her Hutchins staff to provide support through an administrative intern. So, now... Our special guest. I'm excited to have our first guest on Riceberg News, our Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction, Dolores Trevino. Welcome, Dolores. Well, thank you, Bob. It's a pleasure to be with you and to be your first guest. Well, we're here to talk about our instructional coaches and our instructional coach role. What was the impetus behind the thoughts to restructure our instructional coach role? Well, as many of you know, we've had instructional coaches in El Campo for many, many years. And over time, that job description and that role kind of drifted and kind of morphed and changed and was very customized to El Campo. So looking at the role and looking at research, we felt the need to make that program um, true and uh, to do it to fidelity. So that's why we changed. So Dolores, what process did you use to get to this final job description? Well, we began the process looking at our current model that we have in our instructional coaches handbook that laid out roles and responsibilities. After again, looking at data and looking at articles such as uh, coaching heavy or coaching light, getting input from our campus instructional coaches and all of that brought us to a redefining and a restructuring of our instructional coach role for the 21-22 school year. I think an important question is regarding next year, 21-22. Have all the instructional role, coach roles been filled for next year? Great question, Bob. We will be looking at having eight instructional coaches next year. So that will be one at Myatt, two at Hutchins, one at Northside, two at middle school, two at high school for a total of eight. And so currently seven of those positions our field and we will be looking for one instructional coach um, this month the job should be posted it is for internal applicants and so we are looking to hire someone to fill an elementary coaching position wow that's exciting do you have any final thoughts i am just very excited to be able to have our instructional coaches work as a district team to improve our student achievement through improving teaching and learning. And so I'm looking forward to next year, looking forward to working closely with that group and um, looking forward to being on campus with you. Well, thanks a lot, audience. We appreciate. We hope you get a chance to uh, ask questions regarding this and we're excited to have you join Riceberg News each and every week. Thanks.